G'day folks, it's Skippy from On Tool Fishing Australia again. So we're talking tailor rigs again. Now before I get into some specialised rigs, I want to do a bit of point of clarification on some of the rigs that I spoke about last night. Firstly, the Alvi side cast recommended rig, where you've got the short trace to the hooks, about 23, 23 centimetres, that final trace, um, and then you've got the longer trace down to the second swivel. Now, the advantage of this shorter trace is twofold. One, as I mentioned, for that distance in terms of your weight of your sinker here and the pilchards down low. But the second thing is that you want to be in touch with that fish. This is a really good cast and retrieve rig so that you're in touch with that fish. Uh, you're dragging along and the bait and the sinkers down there, you're in touch. And if you feel a rat to tap, bang, you're on. However, on the other hand, the advantage of these longer traces um, so again, here's a longer trace of about 80, 90 centimetres. Then you can even run, again, a ball sinker and don't forget that little soft bead to stop it banging on the knot. Or you can even run a star sinker on one of these little gizmos that runs down the line so you're not feeling that single weighted resistance. And again, if you're going to use an LV, make sure you use a second swivel. But the advantage of these longer traces are for when you want to cast out, and you just want your, when there's less fish about and you want your bait to sit out there waiting for the fish to come along, you then, you've got your bait wafting around much more naturally on this longer trace than you would the shorter trace. So this is a real advantage when the fish are, are thin or you want to essentially, you know, go seeking finding the fish by having the bait wafting around. Now, speaking of which, here is another rig a more specialised rig that I use for night fishing. Now again, it's got the really long trace down to two uh, number six gang uh, true turn hooks and a little bead, glow bead that I'll light up. Again, shining my headlight on it, but making sure I do that away from the water so you don't scare your fish. And on this, I'll run a slab of Benito. So I'll fill it a bonito, cut it, cut down in strips again, and that's a great bait for sitting out there at night for targeting bigger tailor or the potential of picking up uh, a jewfish. So again, you've got that long trace sitting out there, so that's wafting naturally in the water. Again, because it's an alvey, I'm running the uh, running the trace with two swivels, the sinker between two swivels. So that's an excellent rig for big tailor at night. Now finally, a third uh, or a fourth trace along here is the Paternoster rig. Now this has, this is very popular down on uh, New South Wales South Coast where you've got some of those heavily southeasterly swells coming. And on this trace, you've got your uh, star sinker down the bottom and you can vary the size on that by the little clip. I then have short traces of about 20 centimetres, 20, 25 centimetres, the first drop will have gang pilchards. And then on another dropper, I'll have a popper, a surf popper, or I even sometimes have a third one with a surf fly. And you'll be amazed the amount of times that the tailor or salmon down south will come along and smash these poppers or flies, and you'll still have your pilchard on there. But I've also caught up to three fish at once on these rigs, and that's a lot of fun. So I use heavier trace on that. I use about 50 pound fluorocarbon and speaking of which I also use on this uh, bigger tailor rig I'll use 50 pound and what I've gone on it is because it's at night I use this uh, new plant pause hard armor tough leader so it's a much more abrasion abrasion resistant leader it's not a fluorocarbon so fluorocarbon you can um, it's got properties it's makes it very hard to see under the water but because I'm fishing at night with it I use this much stronger leader for those big um, teeth of, of the tailor. Some people like to use wire, I don't, because it's it adds that weight down there, and when it's wafting around, it's more unnatural movement, and they pick it up and feel it, or if they I nudge it up there, that they'll feel, you know, they'll feel some sort of uh, resistance. So if that's a personal preference, some people prefer it, but um, there you go. There's a bunch of sort of tailor rigs ready for tailor fishing season coming up over late autumn and winter. So hope you get out and enjoy it. Cheers.